All right, YouTube, David Harry here. Now, this video that I'm going to do here is primarily designed for a YouTube buddy of mine who is John Lensman Online. However, I'm going to put it live because it might be useful to other people, maybe. Anyway, so John, what it is, this headset here, this like botched thing that I've done hack or whatever you want to call it. It was basically done because I've never really been that happy with um, gaming headsets. I've had a you know bunch of them, never been that happy. And the first thing that I've never been happy about is the actual headset themselves. So the sound quality on every gaming headset that I've ever tried has always been pretty bad. Very boxy sound and, and nowhere near as good. I'd say a good pair of hi-fi headphones so these are hi-fi headphones basically so these are Bayer DT770s now I think these are awesome headphones for the price and um, they're not they're not like mega flat neutral headphones or anything like that but they've got a very pleasing sound to them they're really full sound and, and the stereo field in them is really good as well so when you're used to listening to something that sound really nice, it's difficult then to go to a pair of headphones for gaming, which sound like really cruddy. So what it is, I've always used these for gaming. However, they don't have a microphone on, so I put a microphone on. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best sound and gaming mic you'll ever, ever have heard, but I think it sounds pretty nice. Now, what it was, I mean, actually, you probably see it. My headphones have got filler all over them. That's that's hot glue there. There's a load of hot glue on this side and super glue and stuff. And the cups are now getting cracks in. I've basically loved these headphones to death. My mate Trelly sold them to me about four or five years ago. And um, the, the, I mean, when I said they're like a pair of slippers, they really are. They just fit on your head dead nice and like, you know, the, the, the materials, they're comfortable and all that stuff. So you get used to something, don't you? And, and you go, oh, even if you replace them with the exact same model, you, you, you're always like, oh, will they sound the same? So I've been trying my best to keep these alive for as long as I can. Hence why they're all like, you know, a bit knackered and stuff. Like I say, loved to death they are. Anyways, what happened was um, a while back now, I'd, um, I'd, the cable was quite long on them and the cable, I'd stepped on it on the floor as I was sitting down and as I stood up, the cable ripped out of the headphone and the, or, or out of the, the, this side of the headset here. Anyways, what happened was I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm likely to do that again. So rather than just solder the cable back in, what I decided to do was put a TRS female socket on it which then meant that I could just put jack plugs in and out, which then meant that if I was ever going to stand on the cable and pull it, it would pull the cable out and not rip it all out again. So that kind of got me thinking there was enough space with inside the ear cup here to have, you know, to have put another things in. So what that, what I eventually done was convert that socket at the bottom, which is where the actual cable goes in for the headphone element. And so that can either be TRS or TRRS. So I wired the socket TRRS and then did that wiring appropriate for the actual headset. Then what I've done, I put a TRS socket on the front as well, 3.5 mil female TRS socket on the front of the set. And then I wired that in such a way that that was wired to the microphone element of the TRRS socket at the bottom, which then means I can just pop in and out at will this microphone when I need to use it. So basically, I can use the set as a pair of headphones with a TRS or a TRRS cable, doesn't matter. Or if I want to use it as a gaming headset, I then plug the TRRS cable in, which then links to the mic as well. Now, the microphone as well, um, the boom arm bit was like, I think, £2 or something, although I replaced the capsule on it. I found a capsule off something else that I liked, put the capsule in it. So what you're hearing here is a modified boom arm as well. Um, however, the original boom arm is actually quite nice. In fact, what I'll do, I'll do, a, I'll do a quick video at some point with one of the original boom arms, and I'll grab one of them, throw it on, let you have a listen, because these are actually replacement boom arms for other types of headset mics and stuff like that. So I just got them so I could modify this set with them. Anyways, John. So far, this should hopefully have given you a really good idea of how it all sounds. So at the moment, what it is, I'm actually on a very long cable. I'm, ho I'm hoping it's not introducing any noise. In fact, let me just go quiet a sec. 
Right, there is noise in the room. The wind is slightly open there. It's raining and also the computer's under the table. Although this is right up close to my mouth, so hopefully it's not picking any of that up. Um, now, I'm not too sure if it might be a bit hissy there. I don't know yet because I've actually got it on a very long cable. It's got a join on it. And then at the other end, it forks off then to headphone and microphone. So a TRRS splitter cable. And then like one end goes into the mic input on the camera. And I can also plug the headset element into the camera as well. How cool is that? Anyways, this what I'm doing right now is quite possibly a little unorthodox because obviously having a microphone right in front of your face, oh wait, I've moved it, having a microphone right in front of your face here isn't usually what people do and I've had, so, uh, actually it's not so much not the mic, it's not so much the microphone, it's probably the headset that people are not used to when you do pieces to camera. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip off over now onto the computer and I will show you some stuff that I would normally do with something like this as well because this stuff is great for doing say like OBS stuff on the computer where you're doing say like computery stuff. All right then, John, what we're looking at right now then is the desktop on my computer. So what I'm gonna do is show you some windows opening in a minute and just give an example of what you might do with something like this for doing like presentation stuff or tutorial type things. But I suppose right now, this probably is maybe a better use possibly of this type of headphone headset thing because I think most people, if they see you on camera with something like this on your head, I don't know if it's a bit off-putting for people. However, me personally, I don't mind using these things on camera, but I could understand that the viewers might look at it and go, well, that's a bit weird. But when you're not on camera, and it's just your voice being used, then in that instance, it's all good. And also, you can be monitoring stuff with the headphone side of things as well. So just quickly, uh, let's see. So this is OBS right now. As you can see here, there's the, there's the mic there, so that's the mic level going in. But importantly for me, obviously, I can monitor the headphones for a bunch of things that I might be playing also on the computer as well. So it becomes very kind of versatile for that. In fact, just gives a sec. What you're looking at right now is my Behringer audio interface. As you can see here, I'm using the same like TRRS2 mic and headphone splitter, but this time the microphone is being plugged into the Rode VXLR Plus. And the reason for that is, is because the Behringer sends out 48 volts. The, the, the VXLR Plus drops that down to around six, seven volts, which then powers the microphone. Because don't forget, this microphone is a condenser type, or to be exact, it's an electret or back electret. And then obviously the headphone is just plugged into the headphone socket on the Behringer. So looking back then at OBS, that setup that I've got with the Behringer with the headset, so I've got mic and headphones, is really cool. Now just on a practical thing, let's see. So here's Edius here. So if I was doing one of my Edius tutorials, this is the kind of thing that I'd be doing. So anyways, today I'll be doing an Edius tutorial. Let's have a listen to what this says. Then I'll jump into a game. So what we'll do here, if we go to, let's see, hold on. Let's come out of all this junk here. If we go to settings up here. Okay, and there's obviously a guy who's struggling to get into a game. So let us get into the game. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, so what I'll do now, John, let me just play you this. And this is just some uh, COD Mobile uh, capture here. So again, what it is, I, I, I can't be setting up my other system to start just doing a simple voiceover over the COD thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play COD back on there. I'll go full screen, then I'll just talk a bit over it. And it'll just give us an idea of, you know, what it would be like also with the headset thing with a game. So here we go. Okay, so that's COD playing back in me at NLE. But, let, but let's pretend that this is a proper game. So let me go full screen. Okay, so yay, here I am in COD running around like a big lunatic trying to kill everybody. How cool is this? Now I'll come out here right now and I'll probably get shot because, oh, look at that, because I'm a bad player. <laughs> right, let me just come out of that and stop that. Okay then, John, so that'll just give you an idea of some things um, which maybe are more appropriate for this type of headphone, like microphone setup, again, because you're not on camera and what have you. Anyway then, John, and anybody who's managed to come across this video, I'm going to dive off now. And if anybody else has come across this, then if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also consider the subscribing to my channel getting all over the bell notification icon in the process i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now